Hello and welcome to the second W Advanced Dashboard Case Study and the first case study link is in the description if you have not seen that. So what I am giving you is the case studies that you need to solve and what I am showing you what I have created the KPIs, the visualizations and they are coming directly from my advanced training, advanced dashboard training. So I want to give you a uh, information or I want to give you an insight about uh, what I'm create, what I'm doing in my training and also asking you to evaluate your skill set that whether you can go ahead and create a dashboard like this or not. These are truly advanced dashboards, all the configuration and everything and these are the examples of professional dashboards and finally I will show you from where I am getting uh, what's the final dashboard will going to look like and from where this all of this inspiration is coming so you can go and create more and practice more your skills and so stay with me and let's go ahead and uh, let me show you what we are creating it today all right so here we are in tableau and this is how the data set looks like you have uh, for hospital dashboard you have the main specialty which is like the different department, how many uh, admissions that you are having out of these admission, how many you have emergency admissions, how many you have female admissions, how many uh, consultations are there for where you have the unknown gender, how many for male admissions are happening, what is the average age, average time of stay, average time of wait, uh, other admission methods, uh, there is a planned admission, there is a waiting list, there is an emergency cases and so on and so forth. Okay, so where you can find this data? Well, you can find this data over here. Uh, what you need to do is uh, basically uh, not over here, but over here you need to uh, come on to the my drive. Let me show you. So this this is the file where the link is present but uh, let me show you where the drive is in this i have the data set folder this is where you will going to land in when you will use the link in the description and uh, here we will what i have is the data sets file which i believe is over here right this is the data set not this one <laughs> this one data set is the file uh, which is which if I double click again will open it up and here you have the hospital link when you go over here you will get the uh, dashboard the reason I'm doing this is because my my drive is almost full and I have to use my uh, couple other accounts to host the dashboarding information okay so with that what do we have we have the uh, this data set now you know from where where you need to go and find the data set uh, first KPI you need to create total admission and this is how it should look like the coloring and all and if you see uh, if I highlight this what do I have is the total admission below to that right and I will show you why like this is because in the front end I'm using a dark background on which the this will appear properly so this is your total admission how many emergency cases you are having right and then the percentage 4.8 eight percent if you can see it but because it is in white so 4.8 is what you are having and uh, how many consultation 20.91 million consultation that happened what is the average age mean age in years what is the length of stay what is the mean time weighted over here right and then uh, some the icons the kpi different kpi icons that we can get it right and then uh, what do we have is basically a chart that this is where you have the total value for male if you remember uh, 9.5 million uh, this is the total consultation for male and this is by each of the category in general medicine how many in January how many so this is a trick scenario which is 9.5 million we are saying it for overall but then for each category here is a breakout ideally in general scenario you create two sheets one for this and one for this what i have done is in one sheet how you can do that same way female gender same way unknown gender right so these three charts first higher level statistic the total for male and then the breakout right 
then we want to view the admission by speciality. This is where I'm creating a Pareto chart. If you see 80% of the cases are coming from these many categories, right? So how you can create this Pareto chart, which will basically indicate that uh, how many uh, categories are falling under 80% of the cases. So this is where you have the 80%, right? So this Pareto chart I'm creating by the various admissions, the various departments, right? Then uh, what do we have is basically uh, a chart where for female, male and gender unknown, which is to indicate based on their mean age, right, uh, where the admissions are happening most. Okay. And then this is basically a polynomial line, which is basically indicating when it is high, when it is low, and it is basically trend giving you the trend information. Then a chart like this, which is indicating the mean length of stay on an average 15 days, but it shows highest is more than a year someone has stayed. So that's one mean time weighted similar chart. How much usually a person has is waiting for consultation, right? Then finally, the type of admission, again, a very busy chart, but what it shows that when you have these many departments like general medicine, general surgery, pediatrics and gastroenterology and all of that. Uh, what is the admission percentage like 80% uh, over here is basically your uh, plan this emergency. If you see this is emergency and uh, coming down to in ops, obstetrics, you have very less uh, emergency, but you have other admission where you have planned admission mostly like here 37.5 percent right or maybe over here this is accident and emergency and here also this is an emergency admission obviously so this basically gives based on the percentage where the admission is happening and how much is the admission now about how the final dashboard will going to look like okay so this is how the final dashboard will going to look like and as you can see pretty stunning view right you have a very clear title for which period each of these uh, KPIs, if you remember, is present over here. You have the finished consultant episode. If you remember, 9.5 million for male, 11.4 female, unknown, and then proper tile for each of this, the Pareto chart, the mean length of stay and weighted, and finally episode versus mean age and the type of admission right so the inspiration for this dashboard is coming from someone pradeep kumar ji he is an amazing uh, author you if you go on tab public tableau you will find it is a lot of great examples that if you convert it into a dashboard and that is what i meant you know uh, when i will show you the final dashboard if you remember at the start i told you that you can basically follow more such examples by going to pradeep kumar so just go to public.tableau.com and, and search there for Pradeep Kumarji and you will find his examples over there which you can uh, practice it. But this is a very advanced dashboard not just from the perspective of creation of these KPIs which maybe with the uh, bit of an effort you will be able to do that but how would you put it together like this is altogether a separate exercise and these are some of the tips and tricks. I teach with the help of professional dashboards like this as to how you can create dashboards and, uh, and create those advanced use cases. So with that, I hope you will enjoy this. And, uh, and if you want to learn how to create such dashboards, you can join my training and learn the 10 different use cases. Also, you will get to know uh, and you will uh, get on a session with me as a live Q&A session every Sunday. To, to basically clear any doubt that you are having for creation of these dashboards. With that, thank you so much. I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.